Hi, I'm Miriam, and I'm a senior at George Westinghouse College Prep. Um, my story compri comprises of a lot of things. Um, well, let's say from the time I was a kid, I always had kind of sort of family issues, I guess you can say. But I think the thing that I got from that is that family matters a lot to me. Uh, my sister and my dad are some of the most important people in my life, and they compose everything about me. Um, I love them so much. Uh, what else is my story also includes academics and even though it's kind of weird to say that but I've always been sort of a nerd I always loved math and reading and things like that even when I was in middle school it was just something I really enjoyed even the other day I was kind of angry in the morning but then I got to pre-calc and I just my mood lifted um another thing that composes my story is uh Marvel you know I love Marvel movies I'm a huge Tony Stark fan um, I just, I see a lot of a human in him, and I think that's something that humanizes me, and that's, that's who I am. I'm a human. I love my family. I love school, and I love movies. Okay, um, so when I was around, uh, how old was I, six? Um, my mom and dad used to fight a lot, and my sister and I had to be put into foster care, family services. And from the time I was around six to nine, we were, my sister and I were separated from each other. And my dad fought day and night really hard to get my sister and to get custody of my sister and I. And it was kind of the tip of the barrel, kind of, that my sister um, was injured in the care of her foster mother. And that helped his case and it got us back home. And that fight, seeing my dad push himself to get my sister and I was something that's always been so inspiring to me. And um, I just, I really love him for that. Um, I'll say by surrounding myself with people that don't, um, that, that challenge me, um, that motivate me, that push me, because if I weren't surrounded around people that, that, um, are pushing me and pushing me to do better, I would totally not be the person I am today. I would be someone who is like a slacker or something like that. But I think, um, yeah, definitely surrounding myself with the right people and continuing to love my family and things that are at the heart of who I am, definitely, definitely keeps me who I am. Um, hi, my name is Linda Becker, and I have had the privilege of knowing Miriam for two years um, as a student government rep and then in my AP government class. And Mi Miriam is my kind of human. Uh, she does everything. Um, she does everything with complete enthusiasm and passion. Uh, she makes a room light up with her energy, and I have just so appreciated knowing her. And I'm so sad to say goodbye to her. And I know she's going to do amazing things at St. Olaf, and she's going to have so many white besties. It's really going to challenge <laughs> some of her racial preconceived notions. She's also gonna help a lot of white people figure their shit out. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Take the picture. What? Oh, <laughs> what am I passionate about? I'm passionate about a lot of things. Um, school, of course family, of course. Um, on the social justice side, I'm super passionate about uh, Black Lives Matter or um, justice for people who have been wronged by the criminal justice system. I'm pro-immigration, pro-DACA, renew DACA, please. Um, what else? Uh, women should have the right to choose. I think 
that there are so many things that we have as a society need to start talking about and just I'm passionate about anything that is troubling people, that is causing people to be marginalized or oppressed. I definitely fight for LGBTQ plus rights. And I think that um, as a country right now, we're in a place where it's hard to be passionate about something and not be met with um, pushback. And that's something that I like. I like pushback. I want someone to fight me on something that I'm passionate about that makes my passion about it grow. And so that's, those are mainly the things that I'm passionate about. As long as there is a fight to be fought, I will fight it. So I would just want to say thank you and thank you. Why do you think attending marches? Why do I think? Oh, um, power in numbers. Attending marches is like, oh, it's, it's like this feeling of, of camaraderie and just togetherness. And attending marches and getting national coverage and getting coverage in general is just so, so very important. If people aren't willing to come together to fight for a single issue, then there is no use in fighting for a cause. And so attending marches, I usually get this feeling like it's so overwhelming. I'm almost crying sometimes. Like people actually care about this. It's something that impacts me and something that is very important to me. So when um, marches, I love marches and I love the after that's some shit ooh, 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 okay snap on the red line as a leader um theoretically yes not really um i say not really to be honest because on the social justice side with issues that i'm passionate about i usually attend the marches and then it ends there and that's something that i shouldn't be comfortable with and in, in the social justice organization that I'm in, FISH, we work day in and day out to fight for these issues that we're passionate about. And that is where I see myself as a leader because I'm still working on the issue outside of the march. And even in March for Our Lives Chicago, we still work on issues outside of the march. And so I see my, myself as a leader in that aspect. Sometimes for some issues, I just go to the march and stop. And I think that's something that I really need to work on and become better at and become more of a leader in some of those issues. What am I most afraid of? Oh, literally? I'm afraid of failing. Uh, failing, everyone says that, but genuinely I've always felt like I had to succeed. And if I'm not succeeding, then I'm doing something wrong. And I think that's, that's all a part of the, my mental. But um, I, I think, yeah, I'm definitely scared to fail. One of my happiest moments. Oh. So many. Um, hmm. What is one of my... Oh, um, okay, I got one. So usually my sister and I... My sister brings out this kid side of me. And so usually we'll like run around the house or something. But whenever I hear her laugh, I remember this one time we were doing something. I can't remember. But her laugh just makes me so happy. And whenever she laughs, it's like a, an occasional thing. Like it happens on certain occasions. But whenever I hear her laugh, those are my happiest moments. I'm sorry, I'm just thinking of All-American. Okay, who is the most influential person in my life? That's a hard question to uh, answer. I think the most influential person in my life will be my grandmother. Um, from the time I was a kid, my grandmother was always there. She was that motherly figure that I had when my own mother was absent. And so she taught me how to cook, clean, take care of the house, take care of my sister, watch out for my dad and things like that. And I think she is part of the reason that I'm who I am and who I aspire to be because my grandmother fought so hard to be in the position where she is, to own a house, to have had a business, to have five children and watch them grow up and succeed. And I think that she, she definitely influences me. She, she is one of the people that I talk about the most. My uh, Tony Stark didn't deserve to die. Um, um, 
what's an unpopular opinion? Oh, this is this is kind of a crazy one, but I think <laughs> that Donald Trump is a bad president, but he did what like like he's done what he said he was going to do. And I think I uh not admire, but like I think that's a good thing even though he's a bad person. Um he's he's stuck to it. That's it. Um another one. Any random thing. Um Facebook is overrated. Uh, um <laughs> Mm, I love the Constitution. That is such an unpopular opinion. People hate it because of what Donald Trump has done to it, but the Constitution is like my backbone. I love that document. It makes me feel so, I don't know, giddy inside, but I love the Constitution. And that's about it. That's all I got. How long have you been into my... Oh, funny story. I just found my ticket to Avengers Age of Ultron. Um... So since about 2014, 2015, I'm scared, uh, but it's not a bad scared. It's a good scared. Like this is a new environment, new people, new teachers, just new everything. And it's, it feels like I'm packing up and leaving, but I'm not. And I think that's something that I, that keeps me kind of grounded as far as going to college goes. But um, I'm definitely kind of scared because I'm going to be away from my family for about 16 weeks a semester, you know, and that's kind of scary. Do you have any inspirational things or advice? Um, oh, what is it? Justice long denied is, is wait, what is it? Um, uh, it's a quote by Martin Luther King, and for some reason I can't remember it, but... Justice long denied is justice. I don't know. I forgot that one. And then um, I am Iron Man, you know, that's inspirational in heart. Um, just keep fighting, honestly. Just keep fighting. That's it. Cool beans. Oh, my God. Tony Stark should have lived. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that. Oh, my God. Are you crying? No. Liar. <laughs>